morning, children. And happy New Year to you. I hope you're having lots of fun with Aunt Penny's cake and soda pop. Including some hard things that you might find online and learn from school. Now, before we do this now, hopefully we'll have some more snow. And we can get to do But in the summertime, you go outside and play. I bet sometimes when you play, you play in the dirt. And when you come inside, your hands are all dirty. And then it's dinner time. And what's the first thing your mother always says? That's right. Wash your hands. So I'm going to wash my hands. You can hear me splashing around here. Now that I've washed my hands, it's safe to eat dinner. Water's a great way to get clean. You take a bath or a shower to get clean. You wash your hands in the sink. You use water to your teeth. Mom and Dad use the washing machine to wash the dishes or to wash the clothes. And today we celebrate a special Sunday in the Christian year. Today we remember when Jesus got washed. And we have a word for getting washed in the church. We call it baptism. And this is a baptismal font, meaning there is a bowl here that holds water. Now, when Jesus grew up, there was a man named John the Baptist. And the word Baptist means one who baptizes people and being baptized means getting immersed in water, surrounded by water, like when you go swimming in the summertime. When you jump in the swimming pool, what part of your body gets wet? That's right, your entire body gets wet. Even in the water gets in your ears. Your toes get wet, your legs get wet, your arms get wet, your chest gets wet, your head gets wet, your hair gets wet. Everything gets wet. You are immersed. You are surrounded by water, and when we're baptized, a couple of things happen. First, we get clean, just like I wash my hands to clean off the dirt from being outside playing. Baptism reminds us how we get clean of our sin, because God forgives us through Jesus. Now, when Jesus went to the River Jordan, you and I think about a river, and we think about a big river like the Ohio River, almost a mile wide. But the River Jordan, near where it starts, is probably no wider than from where I was sitting to about here. It's not a very big stream, but it's a swift-flowing stream. And Jesus came up to John the Baptist to be baptized, just like all the people were, because Jesus wanted to show us that he was one of us. And when he did that, and he too got clean, then we became surrounded by God's love, just like the water in the swimming pool, just like the water in the bathtub, just like the water in the baptismal font. Most of you were baptized when you were just a little baby. And I encourage you to ask your parents today about the day you were baptized, the day you got clean, the day you were surrounded by God's love. Say a prayer with me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus, for Jesus being baptized. 
to show he was with us, to get clean from sin, to get surrounded by your love. Through Jesus, who loves all the little children, and all God's children said, Amen. Have a great week. See you next Sunday.